Salut tout le monde, ici Mario de Gojira, on est à New York et on va tout péter ce soir. Yeah, we are very happy and the response is great and we try to make a set list very um, we, we play three album, different album because we have five album now so we, we want to play all uh, all our favorite songs so we we choose uh, uh, in uh, in each album, you know, song. So it's not only about L'Enfant Sauvage but also The Werewolf of Flesh from Master Sirius and The Link a little bit. So it's a good mix. Yeah. L'Enfant Sauvage is just uh, stay yourself and stay, uh, try to keep something very uh, fresh and naive inside. This is the message. You know, from all these songs, new songs of course, which are the songs that you prefer to play live at the moment? Which are the ones that you and your brother Joe are kind of like, oh, that song? Uh, I love to play L'Enfant Sauvage, the, song, uh, the second song of the album. I love it. And the Fan Sauvage, the big news was that it's with Roadrunner Records. After you guys struggle to kind of keep on going and finding the right people to work with you, are you guys happy now that you're kind of like, let's say, a bit more relaxed and kind of like working with the right team? Yeah, we, we are very, yeah. You said everything in the, the question. We feel relaxed and we feel, uh, we, we are very happy and it's a, it's a perfect platform for the band, actually. And what do you take us a little bit into the hard times that you faced before the whole process happened? Uh, you mean before signing on Roadrunner? Um, we were on listenable record and uh, we just had to change because we finished the contract. So we did three albums with uh, The Well of Flesh. So uh, it was something very simple and very natural, you know. It was not uh, not such a big deal to change the label. And uh, Roadrunner wanted to work with us, so it, it was great. Oh, it feels like a bluff, especially because with this new generation of Roadrunner records, I think you guys are kind of their new quote-unquote stamp mm -hmm. and, and, and you guys are one of the best metal, metal bands in the world and you're proving this night after night and how did Gojira get started? Tell us about the history, the roots of the band. Yeah, it's... Uh, I mean, Joe and I, we are brother and we start playing together and... Uh, and it's a wonderful story, you know, we, we come from a, a countryside in France and now we are playing here tonight and it's, uh, it's, it's a dream come true, man. And how has growing up in France influenced you guys as musicians? Especially in a cultural place like France, because it's a very cultural country, one of the most cultural countries in the world. So how did that influence you guys as musicians? Uh, as a musician, there is a lot of... Uh, we, um, I don't know, it's not a rock culture, it's a more traditional, more uh, songwriter culture. We don't have a lot of rock band, a lot of, don't have a lot of metal band, but uh, we can feel the influence in the way of working. Be, uh, French people are very exigent and they uh, do a lot of research when they do something, so we, we don't play music just for fun, we, we try to do a, a real research. So maybe this is a French influence. And what was involved in this research, especially between you and your brother? What were you guys listening to, watching, in order to make it, you know, a, not only a passionate band, but also making it work business sense-wise? Yeah, um, you know what? All our influence come from USA first. We were a big fan of Metallica, Sepultura, so we, we, we didn't sing too much. We were just listening to the CD we really enjoy, like Metallica, and... Uh, we just try to imitate same. You know, it's uh, as simple as that. We we love rock and roll. We love uh, heavy metal music, and we just uh, yeah, just play music. <laughs> and how old were you guys the first time you started playing music together? Uh, I had 13 years old, and my brother five years older, 18 years old. And how is it to be in a you know business? any band, especially professional speaking, is a business. How is it to be sharing that passion and that business with your brother? Ah, it's great. Sometimes it's tough, but uh, like all the brothers, sometimes you fight, sometimes you... But it's a big force, you know, it's, uh, we feel very close together and uh, we know each other very well and we love him. I love him, this guy, so it's, uh, it's a force. And when it's family time, is it hard for you guys to kind of separate one from the other? No, 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 no problem for that. <laughs> no, we, we, we are independent at the same time. We are not dependent, you know, we, we love each other, but... Uh, no, no problem to uh, to leave him. To, to break up for a little bit? <laughs> yeah, of course. And hey, let's talk about the state of heavy metal today. What do you think your album, La Fan Sauvage, has had the response it had? The response was great. Um, 
I would say, yeah, very positive and people understand the album. Not everybody, some, some fans freak out a little bit because it's not enough fast and uh, technical. But most of them understand the music, understand the sense of the album and the emotion on it. So, yeah. Is there anything you would change from it now that you have had a chance to play the songs live and kind of it has some structure of the songs? Uh, if uh, if I have a chance now to come back on the album, I would like to change little details. But but we respect all the time what we do, and it's a picture of the band. It's like a photography of the band at this moment. So we respect the work we did. And you mentioned before Sepultura, Metallica. What was your first concert that you went to and you said, okay, this is what we have to do? Uh, I did some little show in France, but my biggest one was uh, Sepultura in the north of France. I had a uh, 14 years old, yeah. And that was with Max on vocals? And yes, and Igor, yeah, the, the original Sepultura. And those were the guys that got you into playing drums and guitar for your brother? Is that what? No, my brother was, uh, it was the Beatles and Metallica, and me it was more Metallica, pff, Sepultura, yeah, this guy. And what's next for you guys? Because as you said, you were supposed to be home already, but what's in the agenda for the rest of the year? Tomorrow we take a plane to go back home and we have uh, some weeks off and we go back to France during one month and we, we have a lot of uh, Europe and tour. April, March, uh, March, April, May. Oh wow! So it's going to be an expensive, extensive run. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and where else are you going to go this year? Maybe somewhere that you haven't been yet. We don't know yet, you know, because the planning is not fixed. But uh, maybe we'll go back in fall, during fall in the U.S. And uh, we have more tour coming, but not fixed yet. And where's the country that you really want to play at? Uh, Japan, maybe Australia again. Yeah. And anywhere that you haven't played yet that you want to play in? Japan and South America, we never play over there. And they're waiting for you, you know that. Yeah, I know, we, we can't wait to go. And how does it feel to have like an international fan base? Because, I'm, I'm, of course, when you started, let's say you started with France as your fan base, then Europe, then on North, North America, and now you have South America and Japan. How does it feel to have like an international fan base? It it's feels great, man. It's, it's amazing because it's... Uh, uh, how, how can I explain this? It's, it's amazing. Amazing. It, it adds a certain pressure, right? Not pressure, because it's only music, it's some notes, some bit of drums. We, all the humans are the same, you know, everywhere. It's, you can be a French guy, English, uh, Guatemala guy, we, we don't care, you know, it's just about love of music. Right, especially with heavy music, we really cross all boundaries. Exactly. And Mario, for your fans watching right now, let's send them a shout out. Uh, hello everybody, thanks a lot for the support and uh, can't wait to see you guys on the road if you, if you can go to a show. Alright Mario, have a good show tonight. Thank you very much. Hi guys, this is Mario from Gojira. We are in New York City 